quick video on the new tool I bought which is the sliding miter saw from JCB uh, they were in B&Q and I went down there to buy something else I saw these and had the money on me so I bought this instead uh, I really do need one the other ones really mucked up uh, having said that in B&Q these were £99.98 pence, I think or 95 pence, something like that and uh, I went there on the Wednesday uh, as I normally would do and I used my card for my discount and I got an extra £10 off of this so it's actually only cost me £90 a few pence over but uh, and as you can see it's a lot better saw than I had before one of the features is a pull out rest on this end with a roll on it the rest with a roll on it is quite good because you can place it anywhere you're, you're not you're not limited to how much you pull it out on the bar like my other one is um, simply slips in and slips out very easily the other side I'll just move this door around a bit here we go on the other end we've got another holder for longer pieces of wood and this one slides out to <coughs> excuse me 18 inches also on the end of it it has a stop if I can get it open with one hand excuse there me there you mate. go you've got a stop here um, so that you can uh, uh, cut a certain length of wood off as always <laughs> I'm waffling on a bit there uh, but on the end here you've also got a micro adjustment on it so that you can adjust it to the exact point where you want the wood to be cut uh, very useful item but it only does 18 inches um, I think this because this is a contract saw to be worked on site uh, that's all you really need longer pieces you'll have to uh, make your own stop up with I'll just fold that down and clamp it in a bit noisy but the other features on this saw is you've got the stop here um, that lifts open and you can put a depth stop on here it, this depth stop is the only thing that I think could have been made better it's a bit hard to get in here to get to turn this um, turn the screw just here it's very hard but uh, it can be done uh, the other features are it's got a 45 degree angle as everything else all the other mitre saws have uh, both sides uh, and a zero stop in the center which is locked in um, sorry there uh, it also has a stop at 15 degrees locking position and at 22 and a half degrees and what is it um, 31.6 degrees uh, let's put that back to the centre if I can find it there it is the uh, tilt on this has actually got a 33.9 degree mark on here uh, for the side tilt I believe that's for the compound mitre but I might be wrong so don't quote me on that uh, the blade is quite good. It's actually a 40 tooth blade. It's also 210 mil by 2.8 by 30 mil bore. So the blades are very easy to get hold of. Uh, the other feature which I do love with this one is I normally have to use my right hand which is um, to do the button which is on the back here on this particular one but to drop this down instead of having the button at the side here where you have to push it in and pull it down it's very awkward this one is just here this is the drop down button and of course the you've got the start button on the other side of it as well there's one feature I haven't shown you on this and I've got to plug it in to show you um, there it is 
excuse me a second while I just plug this in and now as you can see it's actually got a laser cutting piece on it and I think you can see that better. Can you see that better there? If I just tip it round into the darker side, there. Um, I think you can see the laser level on on there. Hopefully, the laser beam itself is the same thickness as the teeth on the saw, so you know exactly where it's being cut. The action on it is very smooth. I believe it's, it's actually got bearings in here and it's got a lockable position there you've got a hand lock here for it to be uh, moved into position there's also a, a, a pin lock here which you can put in and when you tip it over uh, you pop it into the 33.9% three, position and that will lock in there and then you can lock it into position with this other things are you've got a, you've got a standard hold down here that comes up and goes across as per most miter saws as you get them. The other feature on here which uh, I found very difficult on the other one which is the locking nut. Oh, look at that, look, that's it locked. It's locked into position now, it won't move. It's very easy, nice and big. My hands aren't that strong so a nice big knob here, ideal. The next feature on it is uh, to change the saw blade. It's a simple button here, and you could just pull this down out of the way. You can get to your nut now quite easily. You've also got uh, a locking button just here to lock the blade up with. Very easy to change this blade. Unlike my old one where I had to take this screw out, this screw, this screw, hold this back, undo this, put a spanner in the back. Uh, you know, a uh, lot of work and uh, my mate Ken was so confused with his one he had to get me in to uh, help him to put it back together again uh, on the back you've got a nice bag to collect the sawdust in it does, it does collect the sawdust but as you can see it, do, it does let a little bit out um, the sawdust collection on it isn't that brilliant uh, it's all over the place here as you can see here and here and it's, it's just quite a bit of sawdust that comes on. Um, the other thing, the other thing is, bits fall down in here, and they're, they're a bit hard to get out of here. I have to get your tweezers in there to pull them out. There is one you can buy with a hood that goes on the back here, and it will suck out most of the sawdust you make from this. Um, they're not cheap, <laughs> and they only do about 98% of the, the sawdust, but you still get a little bit left out but not as much as what I've got here and um, for just over 90 quid I don't think you'll get a better one out there than this and remember it's B&Q on a Wednesday you get an extra 10% with the discount card uh, I'll try and buy it if I buy anything I'll buy it from there on a Wednesday to get that extra 10% so there we have it i hope you enjoyed it bye for now that's it for this part i'll see you soon keep safe bye for now